Michael Madu, and I gave my presentation on Interstellar. All right, a summary of Interstellar is that uh, it's a, Interstellar takes place in the future where corn is the only crop that's available, and and uh, there's like a whole dust bowl going on. And we have our main character, Cooper, who is a former astronaut pilot, turned into a farmer since uh, there's a quote in the movie where it, it was like, the world doesn't need engineers anymore, it only needs farmers. And then we have Cooper's daughter who, in her room, who sees a ghost. And that ghost uh, sends messages through Morse code. And the ghost through her, all the ghosts is in her bookshelf. And Morse code is through, uh, like, pushing through her book, uh, her books in her bookshelf. And the ghost gave coordinates to a secret NASA base where uh, they're planning to send humans out into uh, other inhabitable planets since Earth is becoming a in, in, in uninhabitable. So uh, Cooper agrees to pilot the rocket that go that is going out to space to find these and have these new planets to live on. And there's Plan A, which is uh, to send everyone on Earth into these new planets that these people can live on. Or Plan B, where if let's say that they either run out of fuel or that everyone else on Earth already died before they found a new planet, they have frozen side. Uh, uh, frozen embryos that they have that they will use to colonize the new planets. And I give it the movie a 4 out of 5 star rating since it had some time travel elements into it. But I feel that that, that since Cooper's out in space, time travels differently for him, but it doesn't really give a good scale between him in space and the time on Earth. Alright, so ooh, some math. And here's uh, Einstein's theory of relativity, where Einstein proposed that massive objects can reward uh, time, space, in the universe, where which would cause uh, objects around the, those huge objects to uh, orbit around it, which causes gravity. And gravity can actually bend time, space, time, where we can see here, where A, B is, let's just say, there's no massive object around. And then C, D would be like when Earth right here bend space-time, and since it would take a shorter amount of time to travel in a straight line than a curved line, it would make time uh, uh, be slower since, since light would travel at the same distance in a short amount of time, it would be take, time would be slower with Earth since space-time is bent. All right, some math effects. I, I found that time that measured relative to Earth can actually be measured. So T O would be uh, the place that we would want to find where time has been affected. Like, say we want to find the time on Earth on the Moon. This is T, t sub zero, and then T sub of F would be like Earth, the time that we are referencing, and G would be the gravitational constant of whatever object we are measuring. In. And mass would be, m would be mass of t sub zero, and then r would be distance from the t sub zero, like or from the moon. And then c would be the speed of light. So an example right here is that there's a spaceship going to like a black hole, and we would and we would want to find out the what kind of what distance it would take to have time travel twice as slowly. So we would have t sub zero equal 0.5. And then t sub f would equal one since t sub f is the time that we are referencing to. So the gravitational constant of the black hole would be six point six seven three times ten to the negative eleventh power per mass per kilogram squared. And then the mass of the black hole would be one point three one two seven times ten to the fortieth kilograms, and we don't know what the distance to that it would take for time to travel twice as slowly. Speed of light is 299,792,458 meters per second. So we can just rearrange this equation right here so that r is by itself is isolated. And we have this equation where r equals negative two g m gravitational constant times mass divided by speed of light squared third times t sub t sub oh, ah, this would this would be t sub zero divided by t sub f 
squared minus 1. So we would plug the numbers that we have here into the equation. So the distance that we would have be at from the black hole for a time to travel twice as slow would be 2.599 times 10 to the 13th meters away from the black hole. Yeah. Oh.